Good evening, everybody. Uh, Melissa here. Justin is next to me, already laughing, so this should go well. Um, anyway, so a couple things. Uh, made the video last week. You guys all basically gave me feedback that you enjoyed it. You felt like it got you in the loop, addressed some things kind of all at once. So here we go with another video. I'll try to make this one under five minutes instead of 11 minutes like last week. A couple of things. Um, customer service is always number one. I just want to keep saying that over and over and over. Uh, and Julie, a uh, huge shout out to her. She did really, really amazing this week with that. Uh, we did an online sale over in Ashton Lake Condos, a really quick one day setup. Uh, it was a lot of work. But then we did a one-day pickup, and we literally sold everything except for three totes worth of stuff that went into the back of my truck that I dropped off to Goodwill, and that was it. So um, Julie totally rocked that with the organization behind getting it staged, um, photographed, priced, I mean, everything, and then running around like a crazy lady um, on Saturday morning getting everything picked up. So bravo to her. Uh, that was very, very successful. Uh, so customer service, people uh, love to be felt like you know who they are and they're important. Um, my only kind of two cents is um, let's make sure we're prioritizing customer service above chatting. I'm probably the most guilty of that. Um, it's always nice to be sociable with our customers, but we also want to be able to recognize when there are other things happening at a sale. Um, sometimes like sidebar chatting might have to be put on hold and we get back to work. So uh, a couple things to work on there. Um, we're trying to build the business in some dynamic ways. Uh, we've been out looking at buildings. I know I've, some of you guys have heard me talk about it. Um, have not found the perfect place yet. Uh, still looking. So everyone can keep their eyes peeled, obviously looking for something affordable in a good location with a showroom, a storefront, room for another revenue source, and tons of parking and an outdoor space. So if any of the, if you guys know of any building, we're looking for that. <laughs> um, Justin's laughing again. Okay, so last week we also ran the Watkins sale again at 75% off. Um, Shayna and the crew there, Yoey, the guys, Ari, everyone there, they just rocked that. So we did two, over $2,000 in one day, uh, which is like doing $8,000 on a standard Thursday. So that is uh, being extraordinarily busy. Um, and uh, that's a lot of stuff that sold out of that house. That house has since been cleaned out. Yoey and the clean out guys um, already knocked that out. So we're moving on to the to the next uh the next project there. Yeah, Nick and Ridge. Um, so this week we have Judge Miller's house. It's going to open up and we also have the house in Marshall on Hughes Street that uh, we had set up already that Jenny had did over Christmas vacation that kind of went awry with the family. Um, but this week Judge Miller's house is going to open and then the Marshall house uh, on Hughes Street is also going to open. Um, we have another house at, uh, 12400 East Michigan Avenue, kind of by the casino. Jenny was there today doing some cleaning and some stuff I'd asked her to do. Uh, and the new owners are going to, or sorry, the current owners are going to be there tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Um, I am going to send out a schedule here shortly with a start time of about 9.15. And I'll be bringing some equipment and we'll get to work there. Uh, Yoey, that includes you. Uh, there are barns and it's supposed to be warm, so hallelujah. Um, that house, though, we have to remember is on video and audio recording. So please uh, be on your utmost professional behavior at all times. Looking ahead, we have a sale coming up, a very tiny sale at 115 Sheffield, like a very tiny sale. Um, and then of course that 12400 East Michigan Avenue sale for not this week, but the following week, we have, um, quite a few things on the books coming up for spring. Um, I have more appointments this week scheduled. Uh, we have some really awesome sales coming up too. Some really big ones that are going to happen kind of scattered throughout between now and June. So, uh, hopefully the hours will start picking up for everybody. Um, and we can kind of get back to normal. Did I miss anything, Justin? Go team! All right, that's it. Happy uh, Sunday.